Welcome back. Okay, now since all my courses are completely standalone, um, I'm assuming you know nothing about this. So I can't assume that you watched my other videos. I'm just going to assume you know nothing. So we're going to get started the right way. First of all, what we need to do if you're working with Dreamweaver is to basically set up a definition, a site definition. So let's do that. So under the site menu, we have Dreamweaver CS6. Now this can be done in earlier versions of Dreamweaver, but the media query part is going to be much more easy to do from a WYSIWYG point and click model than it will be inside of earlier versions of Dreamweaver. Now I just want to mention something to you guys. If you're going to be serious about making money doing web development, then invest in the most current tool. Now for those of you that say, well, it's expensive to upgrade. Well, for, for 19 bucks a month, you can get the uh, Dreamweaver Cloud version. And for those of you out there that are saying, well, $19 a month, that's a lot of money. Well, you know, you're not paying for it. Your client's paying for it. Pass, the, pass that money on to your client. I never bought a piece of software in my life. Now, what I mean by that is I don't buy bootleg software. I buy every piece. I own every piece of software I, I, I have. But I included that into the course the cost of the project when I build something for a client. So basically the client pays for my software, not me. So for those of you that are saying, well, I can't afford the upgrade. Well, you can't afford the upgrade. Build it into your price when you have your next client's job. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do here is to find a site. So what you need to do is before you start basically building something in Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver needs to know a basic site folder format. You need to establish a root folder, and that's what we're about to do. So we're going to go to site, site, new site. Now, based on these choices, this is how to think about any software program. All software simply comes down to choice. I'm simply going to create a folder called Media Queries. Now, of course, this is just an exercise, but this could be whatever you want it to be, okay? So I'm just going to copy that. So when I make myself a new folder, I'm just going to go to my desktop, and on my desktop, I'm going to make a folder called Websites. And inside of that folder, inside of that folder, notice the name of this dialog box. It says Choose Root Folder. So inside of this folder, we're going to make a new folder. And unfortunately, yeah, I keep forgetting that a couple years back that uh, you can't paste into a folder dialog box. So we're just going to call this media queries. Now, for search engine purposes, it makes total sense. You can't have spaces. Any file that goes to your web should not have spaces in it. If you're going to use space, use hyphens because hyphens are picked up as a space according to a search engine. Okay, so basically we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it Media Queries. Now, of course, this would be the title of your site name, whatever you're doing for your client. But since it's based on training, that's what I'm calling it. But you can call it anything that makes sense to you. So notice the name of this dialog box, Choose Root Folder. That's exactly what we're about to do and hit Choose. Now, how did that help us? Well, Dreamweaver, if you take a second to basically read this up here, Dreamweaver needs to know where your files are going to be kept. So as an example, we said that this folder, which is on my desktop and on my Mac, is basically going to be defined as my root folder. That means everything that I need for that to make that site work, whether it's a graphic or CSS or QuickTime movies or flash files, need to be part of this root folder. Now, they can be in separate folders inside of this folder, but this is your root folder and everything has to go inside this folder. It can't go outside of this folder. And if you import something outside of the folder, Dreamweaver will say, hey, do you want to make a copy to the root folder? And if you don't, well, you're going to be pleasantly surprised that you can't upload files. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay. Now we're set to start making files for our website because the first thing we did was go to define site. Now, if you wanted to make changes to that existing site based on these choices, that would be manage site. And then I would simply double click and go back in and change whatever I wanted to change. Like say I had a typo here and I misspelled that as an example. So based on these choices under the site menu. Now, the other thing I want to share with you again, for those of you that are new to Dreamweaver, is we're going to be working in Dreamweaver Classic mode. Now, if you're not working in Classic, I highly suggest you go to Classic because it's much more enjoyable and much easier to comprehend and understand if you work in Classic mode. I have 26 years of working with Adobe products, guys. Take my advice on this. Benefit from my simple, simple techniques here. 
Now, once I'm in classic mode, and if you need to reset back to classic standard mode, I suggest doing that. So the only palette I want to see right now is my files palette, which I'm going to drag out to here, and my CSS palette. I don't need to see anything else here. So I'm going to take this, this list of palettes and close it. And I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to click right here. Now, this is an important step here. This is my file manager. Now, this is for uploading and downloading files, which will do that FTP setup in a subsequent video. But right now, I simply want to click right here. Now, if you don't click here, you're not going to be able to see both sides of your site, which means I want to click here. This would be my web server, which we haven't defined yet. We'll do that in a separate video. Over here is my local files, which we don't have any other than a folder. So I just want to share with you that you want to click right here to expand that window. Now, once this window is up, you can close the window. All palettes in all Adobe products are under the Window Menu, Window Files, Command Shift F, Macintosh, Control Shift F for Windows. Anytime you hear me say the Command key, it's the Control key for Windows. Alt key is the Option key on Macintosh. So Command Shift F opens the window, Command Shift F closes the window. So right now we're just going to have that window closed. So that's how we define a site. So now we're ready to create files inside of Dreamweaver for our media queries. And we'll do that in our next video.